What is up guys and gals, welcome back to another speculation video here on the channel. So today I'm going to be discussing new characters coming to the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. Now I know I already made a character predictions video in the past a few weeks ago, but I wanted to elaborate on some of the characters that could possibly come. I did make a few videos about last year talking about these two characters being Honey Queen and Wiggler and how they could come to Mario Kart Tour. But now with the character booster course pass, I want to discuss their appearance in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and how it could potentially happen this year before the waves end. So pretty much I'll be going through hints and details that are provided to us in game and in data mining that could potentially reveal their appearances in these Mario Kart games. First of all, in the booster course pass, I believe the characters that will be added are going to be the ones that are already in Mario Kart Tour. And if we look at these two veterans, they were both playable in Mario Kart 7, but not in Mario Kart Tour. But maybe like the newer Nitro tracks that have been released like Sky High Sunday and Yoshi's Island, these two characters could debut in Tour during the same time that they debut in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. How cool would that be? Kind of like cross promotion in a way. And I know Mario Kart 8 Deluxe does not promote Mario Kart Tour, but Mario Kart Tour does promote Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and the Booster Course Pass. The tour that took place when these DLC waves did drop Mario Kart Tour actually did provide an in-game notification promoting the Booster Course Pass. So they could do the same with the new original characters, right? I mean, characters are debatably one of the most important things about Mario Kart. So now let's talk about which wave they could debut in. So I think that they will debut together, and they are both heavyweight male and female drivers, which definitely do contrast each other and honestly fit nice like puzzle pieces. They also debuted it in Mario Kart 7 together, so it'd be nice to put them in this game together as well. So the wave I think they'll debut in is wave 5, of course the season being summer, which fits super perfectly. Honestly, spring would have been even better, but as we could see, we did not get them, but instead we got Birdo. But summer fits just as fine. I mean, insects, summer, go hand in hand, I must say. Now, here's some hints that led me into thinking that these characters are coming to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Mario Kart Tour. Let's start with Honey Queen first. So, there's this badge in Mario Kart Deluxe and Mario Kart Tour called Racer's Lemonade, and it has Honey Queen's emblem on it. Really weird. And this badge has been here since day one of Mario Kart Tour. This badge hasn't been touched or remixed in Mario Kart Tour, but it did make an appearance last year in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's Coconut Mall. When you take the lower route towards the parking lot, Honey Queen's badge is featured right over here. Racer's Lemonade. And it's really interesting because Nabbit had this exact same type of badge before he debuted in Mario Kart Tour. I mean, take a look right here. It goes hand in hand with the Honey Queen badge. I also want to mention that Honey Queen's signature Mario Kart 7 cart is in Mario Kart Tour. And it also has two reskins being the Bumblebee and the Rose Queen. In Mario Kart 7, almost all the characters had unique carts to them. And it's really weird that all the carts are in Mario Kart Tour, but the character itself isn't. It's also worth mentioning that Mario Kart Tour takes a lot of Mario Kart 7's content and knowing that Honey Queen is not in this game but almost everything else is, is quite weird. And I know Wiggler himself isn't playable in this game but he does make cameos on tracks unlike Honey Queen. She's the only character, or item I should say, from Mario Kart 7 that's not in Mario Kart Tour yet. I also want to talk about the Honey Hive Battle Course that could possibly debut in Mario Kart Tour as well. Now I know battles are MIA in Mario Kart Tour which is quite concerning but if they do decide to release more battle courses, they could release this one alongside Honey Queen. So those are all the hints that I have for Honey Queen and how she could possibly come to both of these games. Now let's go to Wiggler. So Wiggler himself has been seen on the Mario Kart racetrack several times. He also has his own signature course in the DLC where he's literally walking around the track but sadly he's not playable. Also really interesting that in the new Mario Circuit track, the DS1 that's coming in wave 4, he's walking around and sleeping in the forest section. Kinda sus, why isn't he in here yet? And something else really crazy is that this week, or last week I should say, Shroomage finally appeared in Mario Kart Tour. And something really interesting is that in its RT variant, there are walking Wigglers that replace the cars on the racetrack. Why is Wiggler getting so much random love recently? Could it be because he's coming to these games? And just like Honey Queen, he has badges in this game. Badges, uh, because there's quite a bit that he has. So those are all the hints for Wiggler. Let me know if you guys think that these two characters could potentially come to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I really hope that they do because Honey Queen is one of my most wanted original characters of all time. I also want to briefly discuss a leak that has been going around Twitter that has showed a quote unquote data mine for 14 new characters. And take this with a grain of salt because this data miner is not 100% reliable. 
And in this list of 14 characters, Wriggler and Honey Queen are not featured. How sad. The 14 supposed League characters include King Babom, PD Prana, Kamek, Birdo, Koopa Freerunning, Diddy Kong, Hammer Bro, Dixie Kong, Funky Kong, Nabbit, Charging Chuck, Mario SNES, yes, that dude, Pauline, and Monty Mole. Uh, is it just me or is this really unrealistic? Let me know if you believe this leak or not. I sure don't. Keeping awesome, you guys, stay hydrated, make sure to leave a like on this video, and thank you for your continued support. Bye bye.